Hello, this is Bobby from Copel TV Repair with a video today of how to test and how not to test uh, e prompts for Visio mainboards, in this case XVT553SV. Uh, but in reality, there's a bunch of other similar boards that are all based on this same uh, 171, 2272, 3237. Uh, there may be different boards from different models, uh, but the design will be the same. That's how they're going to look. Uh, the heat sink is off, and you can see this circuit installed here. I will mention in a second. Now, when we sell EPROMs, before we sell them, uh, we make sure that they work. Because sometimes, after programming for uh, practical reasons beyond our control, the resulting EPROM actually may not work in a TV. So we test them here, and all those are different tests, and uh, we assign them different numbers, as you can see, for our testing purposes. This is how a brand new EPROM looks like. Uh, you've seen it, it looks exactly like the one that is installed originally on the board, clean, even spaced with the legs, uh, and everything. And this is how an EPROM that was soldered on a board and not even cleaned up looks like. This was something that was returned to us by an eBay buyer, Nimrod, Nimrod. And uh, this one, in addition to being shorted, has legs twisted sideways. I don't know how exactly. The way and the excessive solder on it tell me that this is not a professional job because that's not how any one of us here will take an EPROM out of a board. And this is not meant as an offense, and I'm sure there are people out there that are way better than, 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 than us and doing smaller things like iPhones and iPads that are even more complicated. So I'm not trying to say that we're the best in, in anything, but there is a certain, certain level of quality that uh, the soldering like that clearly does not mean. And here's the problem. We don't know how good the customer is and, you know, what their qualities are. We have no way of knowing that up front. We can't say we only sell, we only want to sell to you or to you because you have that quality or no. We have to be able to separate somewhere, draw a line of how to tell when, uh, you know, we can get a component back because it wasn't functioning. And when can we get a component back? We cannot get a component back because it may have suffered from incompetent handling. It's, it's not a black and white line, but there's got to be a line. And the line for us is for all our components, repair kits, once you solder them on a board, we don't take them back. Because we don't know whether you soldered well, because we don't know whether you fixed everything else that had to be fixed, because we don't know whether you're going to put it this way or put it the other way. And we don't know if some components will survive that, others may not. I, it's really becoming a uh, kind of worms once we start getting into what can you possibly do and at which point we are still willing to take stuff back. Our line is pretty simple. Once you solder it on a board, no return back. How can you test it without soldering on a board? Well, that's exactly what I'm going to show you now. This is how it's got to be done. This is a socket for TSOP48, which is the name for the packaging of this device. We sell those. Others sell those. You can buy whatever you want. Installing one is not easy. And you definitely are not going to be buying one just to be testing an EEPROM on it. But if you're in the business, uh, then you will make something like that. And if you're not in the business, then send your board to repair. Or don't buy an EEPROM, at least from us. Uh, but if you do buy it and you solder it, we don't get it back. Not just EEPROMs, any type of components. So I'm closing this, and I'm going to put power, actually there was a power already, so I guess it's the Visio underneath. You can't see the sign, but I can see it. It's blinking. It may or may not be. Oh, let me reset the power. All right. So I'm replugging it back here. I am seeing the Visio Orange logo underneath that started to blink. I am not sure I will be able to show you that because the TV is so large. Yeah, from this angle you probably just can't see it very well. It was blinking. 
All right, so I'm dropping it down. This is a large TV, and our table is designed so that we're going to surely lift it. And it's slightly lifted itself so we can see underneath uh, whenever we start. So assuming this stopped blinking, did it? It did. I'm going to press the power and see this is a working EEPROM. Right, this, this is how we know it is working. This is an EEPROM that's going to be shipped to a customer. And I don't know, you might want to see more than that. I want to see the manual. Give me a second here. There is the manual. Power on off. And I'm putting it down again from the table. So folks, this is how we do it. This is how we test and this is how you should be testing it too. If you want to buy those, go to our website or go to you know eBay, Google, whatever. Uh, you're looking for T-SOP socket. Uh, it's called testing socket. Uh, generally, T-SOP 48 socket. And this is how we don't want to receive parts. That is all. Thank you.